Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Literary Lutheran Reads a Book of Proverbs. This episode is for Tuesday, and today we read chapter 30. This revelation was spoken by Agur, Jack's son. The man said, I'm tired out, O God. I'm tired out and exhausted, O God. I'm only an animal and don't have any human intelligence. I haven't learned wisdom, and I don't know the Holy One. Who has gone up to heaven and come down? Who has grabbed the wind in his hand? Who has wrapped up water in a garment? Who has set up the boundaries of the earth? What is his name or his son's name, since you must know? Everything God said has proven to be true. He's a shield to those who come to him for protection. Don't add anything to what he says, or he will correct you, and you will be found a liar. I have asked you for two things. Don't keep them from me before I die. Keep nonsense and lies far away from me. Don't give me poverty or riches. Feed me with the food I need. Or I may feel satisfied and deny you, saying, Who is the Lord? Or I may get poor and steal and profane the name of my God. Don't slander a slave to his master, or he will curse you, and you will have to pay for it. There are those who curse their fathers, and don't bless their mothers. There are those who think they are pure, but aren't washed from their filth. There are those who have proud looks and a haughty appearance. There are those whose teeth are like swords, and whose jaws are like knives, to devour the poor from the earth and the needy from the land. The bloodsucker has two daughters. Give and give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yes, four that never say enough. The grave, a barren womb, a land in need of water, and a fire that doesn't say enough. An eye that mocks a father and scorns a mother will be picked out by crows in the valley and eaten by vultures. Three things are too wonderful for me, and four things I can't understand. How an eagle makes his way through the sky... How a snake makes his way on a rock, how a ship makes its way in the middle of the sea, and how a man makes his way with a virgin. This is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats, wipes her mouth, and says, I've done nothing wrong. The earth trembles under three things and can't bear up under four. A slave getting to be king, a fool being filled with food, a shunned woman getting married, and a maid taking the place of her mistress. There are four things on earth that are small, but they are very wise. The ants are a species that isn't strong, but they prepare their food in summer. Rock badgers aren't a mighty species, but they make their home on a cliff. The locusts have no king, but all of them march in ranks. You can take a lizard in your hands, and yet he's found in royal palaces. There are three things that move with stately steps, yes, four that stride with dignity. A lion, the mightiest among animals, turning back from no one, a war horse or a male goat, and a king at the head of his army. If you are so foolish as to honor yourself, or if you scheme evil, you had better put your hand on your mouth, for just as churning milk produces curds and squeezing a nose produces blood, so stirring up anger produces a fight. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This has been the Literary Lutheran Reads, a book of Proverbs, and wish you all a blessed day.